I'm like right on the fence, and I'm just watching everything in third don't, person don't to watch. see. Don't and see me. where this is going. Don't fucking lie to me. Don't fucking lie to me. Don't fucking lie to me. Is that start lying recording. to you? Just start fucking recording. Just start fucking recording. Just start fucking recording. We've been recording for the past like <laughs> seven minutes now. Seven minutes. Yeah. Oh right. my gosh. Feeling good. Hey, feeling good. Like I should. When in the blue walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back hey. to another episode of The Talk, where today I do have a story. Um, so I, what I do is I upgrade monitors. That's it. Um, I go into this, to this hospital. Um, I knock on the door for the patients, introduce myself to them, and tell them what I'm doing. Do it and get oh, it. That's what you do, right. yeah. Right. And then, no? so, okay. what are you talking about? Oh, no, my uh, bad. I'm sorry. All right. So I go into this one room, knock on the door, and the patient's asleep. I'm just like, all right, cool. I go to upgrade the monitor, and it takes like about 150 seconds or whatever. So I'm waiting, and then the nurse comes in. The nurse comes in. She looks at me, looks back at the patient. She goes to the patient, touches chest, and she looks at me. She's like, oh, he passed away. I look at her like waiting for what? like... <laughs> Waiting for like the I'm just joking or whatever. No, she she left the room in tears, and a bunch of the doctors came in. It's like I'm sorry, you can't be here. You gotta get out. Give us a few minutes, all right? Give us a few. And then for an entire day, I was thinking about how I upgraded. Wait a second. Next this to a this hospital had no alarms to let them know this person was dead. There was no. That is the worst oh. hospital I've ever heard of. The, the fact I, had I was, no idea. Here's the thing. I was confused. The nurse came over and touched his chest. Oh, shit. Bro, like, I was confused. Like, what do you mean? Oh, shit. <laughs> like, bro, I was confused because this was like a high-end hospital. It was like... Apparently not. Uh, <laughs> apparently, it's what the patients died. <laughs> bro, like, I don't know. It just real like... And for like, um, for about an hour, I had like the same face of just shock. And one of the doctors noticed me and she was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just reeling back. I was a guy that was in there upgrading the monitor. I thought he was asleep. I didn't know he was dead. And she was like, oh, <laughs> you'll be all right. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay. So that was my story of how I, of how I worked next to a dead body. Well. I have a, I have a more, I have a more light, light, uh, a more lighthearted, lighthearted hearted story, Thank but you. still equally as serious. Okay, I'm go ahead. I will tell you the story of how I watched my friend spend almost seventeen thousand dollars in one hour. <laughs> no, seventeen hundred dollars. Seventeen hundred dollars. Oh God. So what, what happened? My friend, man, my friend, we're not gonna call any names out, but I think you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I, wait, names. give me a hint. Give me a hint. He's oh, a, I know. He loves some snakes, you know. <laughs> oh no, no. He says to kick the snakes. Anyway, oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the kick of snakes. <laughs> oh no. So what anyway. Happened? I was like, he was like, hey, man, I'm like, hey, he's like, I'm going to uh, this store near your house. Do you want to come with me? I'm just going to go pick up a couple of PC parts, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm only missing a couple of pieces here and then. Sure, bro, let's go. So we get in the car, he picks me up, you know, he's talking, we're driving on the way, he's like, I'm like, oh, I mean, you going to spend some money? He's like, yeah, I'm just going to spend a couple of dollars. Meanwhile, I'm like looking at his truck, there's like tape everywhere. The engine sounding, I'm like, oh, what's, what's wrong with your truck, by the way? He's like, oh, yeah, there was just a couple of stuff wrong, you know. I have some rust in, brakes oh, are kind of going God. down. The engine's kind of, you know, the uh, the exhaust is a little fucked right now. I'm like, oh, so you're going to get it fixed? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll get it fixed later. I just got to, I'm just going to get you finished building my PC first. I'm like, oh, okay, I mean, it shouldn't cost you that much money, right? Usually building a PC is pretty inexpensive. He's like, you'll see. What? You'll see. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> see and so we, we get to the store and like we got we start going and he's like hey you know what 
we're gonna need a part. I'm like, we're gonna need a cart? Is it like, like how much stuff you get? He's like, trust me, we're gonna need the big cart. I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> so I, I go back to the front of the store, pick up like a big cart, and come to him. All of a sudden, he just starts putting all this shit. You know, getting a case, CPU, a UPS. Fuck it. He's like getting like a uh, black loaf for the thing. I'm like, oh, oh shit. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it all in here. Put it all in here. And we start, we spend like an hour in the store just taking up like a bunch of shit, putting it in this thing. I'm like, gosh, jeez. Like, you want to get anything? Know? Like, I, I mean, I'll just get like a little mouse pad I was going to get from my laptop that's glows in the dark. It's like 20 bucks. I'm like, I'll just get this because I was like, this is kind of cool. And so we we go back to the go to the checkout. I look at my little mouse pad, ring it up 20 bucks. Awesome. And then I see the, the register, they're like helping him out. I'm like, oh. I'm looking at like the the scanner thing. And I just start looking at the prices, and I'm like, "Oh, this case four hundred dollars. This UPS six hundred dollars." I'm like, "Oh, oh, oh, fuck, oh, oh, fuck." And, and it's, no, sixteen hundred dollars. Oh shit! I'm like, "Yo, are we gonna go into like lunch after this? You have like money for lunch?" He's like. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. I gotta do some money transferring real quick. <laughs> and then, jeez. And with the tax, it came up to seventeen hundred. I'm like, all right. How much did you actually like, budget out for this? He's like, oh, I budgeted out uh fifteen hundred. I'm like, oh, so you had that idea you're gonna spend this money? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, at least now you have like, at least now you got all the pieces for your PC. He's like, well, I mean, this isn't all the pieces for my PC. I have stuff at home too. I'm like. <laughs> What do you mean you got stuff at home? Oh He's like, yeah, God. I got like a monitor, and a GPU. I'm like, how much did that stuff cost? He was like, he just looked at me. He looked down. The shame came into his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I spent about two thousand two hundred dollars in that, and literally my what? mouth just dropped. I'm like, hold up, wait. <laughs> Pause, man. Well, wait one second. Pause. Your truck right now is fucking barely working. <laughs> And you just spent five thousand dollars building a PC. And he's like, "Yeah." I was like, oh "Just take me home, Troy. Just take me home. <laughs> take me home." <laughs> and oh I my can't god. believe this. Right now. Oh my god. I mean, his, to his I mean, credit, his PC is baller. His PC is baller. We see his pictures. It's baller. But not five thousand dollars baller. Here's my here's my question. I was like, this is the question I kept asking King. Even even as he was buying, he was like, yeah, maybe I spent a little too much on this. I'm like, no fucking shit. I'm like, a little too this? much. Well, I just want to play Cyberpunk in the best fucking thing. I'm like, okay. I just say you want to play Cyberpunk in the best. Spend all the money on the I- GPU and then skip out on the other stuff. What the? Well, you don't gotta spend. Five thousand dollars to play Cyberpunk in the best, the best graphics ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's not worth it. You leave it to you. Instead of spending sixty dollars in a video game, you spent five thousand and sixty dollars in a video game. That's basically what you just told me right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I that's, just, horrific. that's horrific. <laughs> I just told him after this, like, Troy, don't do this again. You better save your money. You better save, save your, your money. money. You better save your money. I mean, like, I mean, I understand you saving some money. I'm like, but like, listen, I understand you think, oh, but I, I saved money already, and like, I, I'm no, I mean, this is my fun money. I'm like, but like, not even, not everybody who built PC builds everything for five thousand dollars in one month. Like, that's just that's Dude. just insane. Yeah, mine was fourteen hundred. It's just insane. It's not like Cyberpunk's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, it's like there's there's months until it comes out. <laughs> Well, He's got like a- nine months. Like really? You could have easily spread out this cost and like slowly build stuff. I'm like, that's what I was trying to tell him. I was like, I'm not mad at you for the fact that you want to build a PC. Like, I understand. Like, I yeah, we're gonna miss you playing Xbox all the time. But you know what? I'm not mad at you for wanting to build a PC. It's cool. What I'm mad about I'm you. I'm mad that I'm your is- friend. <laughs> I, I, as your friend, I feel like I'm responsible to tell you this is a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, because it's, it's just a feeling of, like, if he fucks up, then you're fucking up with him. Oh, my yeah, God. Like... Okay, yes, you failed. We, uh, we failed the... have failed as a collective. We have. Oh, my God. I just I just, I just, just don't know, man. I'm like, you know what? You could have easily saved some of that money. You could have, like, $5,000. You could have bought anything. Bro. You could have fucking saved that money to, like, 
if you want to like put like into like fix stock, your car, get you a, about a hooker. Fix the truck, fix you fix your car, put money get a in new the car. Stock. You could buy a new fucking car. You about a hooker. Your car's 2007. Your car's it's not like it's getting any younger. You could have bought a new. You could put down. You could have bought a hooker. You could have bought a hooker. They finally get laid. I don't know. Okay. Not that I'm not gonna go. You could have bought a hooker. hooker. Um. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. You know, you're the fucking Oh, sick. man. Troy's Troy the kind of guy is, who's going to spend, like, like... Come on, man. That's what, I, that's what I feel like it happens right now. That's what we need for, like, our friend group. We're just like, come on, man. Come oh, on, God. man. <laughs> and then I'm like, also, you still live at home, so, like, come on. You could have, like, you could have saved that money for, like, an apartment you want to eventually move into oh. or a house you want to move into. Like, it's just, I just... Oh, dude. I, I just feel like I feel as a well, I mean, we, if you only Cyberpunk, him. then it might last no longer. I, I know. I just feel like I feel as a <laughs> Oh, my God. Cyberpunk, this, if you guys, if the anybody who, like, creates Cyberpunk listens to this podcast, which is very off chance, but if they do, you want to make that game good. This kid's been bro, five thousand dollars. Bro, imagine if game. Cyberpunk sucked? Oh, my. I would, bro. If that happened, I would immediately just send him a message and just say, and just put, like, a... I just put like a crying face and just say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. How dare you? How, how could you? Well, based going off from that story, I do have another story. <clears throat> this one's also equally bad. So I was following the biomed over to another facility at the same hospital. Okay. And they have another one uh, for behavioral services. Um, this place was essentially a prison and the biomed turns to me before entering the, the building. He turns to me and he says, never turn your back on these guys if the monitors are in the room, um, because they will either steal your things or stab you. Um, some of these patients oh, are yeah. ultra violent. Um, that's reassuring to hear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's just like giving me this whole spiel of how of how these patients are like kind of on edge and have lost their minds and are tend to violence or whatever. And then he just walks in the building. He just knocks on the door and he walks in and no one and no one answered. No one was there. No one was at the desk. So I'm thinking this is like Arkham Asylum. I know where this is going and I'm not Batman. So I'm getting the hell out of here. But instead we went to a a back entrance and the moment we went in, all the patients were out. All of them. All of them were fucking out. And the biomed was like on edge. So he got one of the one of the uh, nurses. He's a big buff dude. They call him Muscle Mike. And Muscle Mike. Yeah, he led Muscle me. Mike. He led me to the closet. And this closet had oh. all yeah, the. Yeah, this is the closet. Okay. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare. <laughs> don't. And they went in through the back door. <laughs> <laughs> um, went in through the back door only to find Muscle Mike in the closet. <laughs> Jesus. Muscle Mike. But here's the thing. I wonder how he got All that name. I how he got that name. <laughs> There's not that many muscles on his on his outside. I don't know how he got that name. Well, let me explain. In this closet were all the monitors that I needed. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll upgrade everything here, and then I'm out. Like, I'll A&R the rest of them. So I'm upgrading these monitors, and while all the patients are coming out, they come, like, within this the cafeteria kind of area. And all of them are out. They're all rowdy. And separating me and them is this cylinder block wall with a metal window. Like the ones you see in the ghetto. They have that metal sheet down and it's locked in to the side of the wall. And the side of the concrete. So I just hear like banging. Like bang, 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 bang. Oh yeah, motherfucker. And then some lady was crying. And then another one was screaming. And then they're just being rowdy and it's, it's fuck. So I finished upgrading everything. I prayed. And the moment I did, the nurse announced for all of the patients to go back in their rooms so the doctors can do a checkup on them. And me being the blessed soul that I am, I got to walk over to the back door with no one there. Jeez. This job really has you put in some, like, some perilous situation. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. 
At least you didn't go see like you know. If you went to go see the movie Joker first and then went there, I feel like it would be a much more terrifying experience. <laughs> that's that's the podcast. Did anything happen in your life, Sanders? No, keep that up. We'll keep nothing that interesting. Out. Nothing <laughs> interesting. Nothing, nothing, nothing you guys. Important. Nothing important. <laughs> All right. All right, well, that's the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to just uh, to subscribe, like the video, like, and uh, click the bell button. button.